welcome. My name is Itachi and this is the ultimate Spearman guide. I have separate each part into chapter. So you can jump to the part you think is most interesting. We will start with how to unlock these units. So uh, you go to the first part here, melee units, and scroll down to uh, sheets here. Uh, start f first you need to pay 10 uh, honor 500 and it's good if you take the, the upgrades as well if you're gonna use these units same here and over here and so so here you have the total cost and also I put in how to unlock the honorable mention of black dragon spearman so you can see how much silver uh, or you can pay uh, sovereign you can pause the video here and check it out by yourself then we will jump over to the stats, so we have uh, Spear Militia On a mention of uh, uh, Dragon Spearman Iron Cap Spearman And Imperial Spearman Here we got Veterancy for Spear Militia uh, Iron Cap Spearman And uh, Imperial Spearman Dragon uh, Spearman have just one uh, battle line. Here we have Doctrines for Spearman Militia, Black Dragon Spearman, Iron Cap Spearman, and Imperial Spearman. Then we have the important part of Masteries. So here we have Spear Militia. I'm kept Spearman, Imperial Spearman, and the Dragon uh, Spearman doesn't have a mastery yet uh, anyway. To show you, they have three different uh, formation. They have Shield Wall, Turtle, and uh, Shield Tron. Shield Tron is never used, uh, it's just these two. And Iron Cap Spearman doesn't have the shield wall. Then you have uh, uh, unit orders, which is uh, heavy shield push or advanced. Uh, I have shoes the veteran line where I don't have advanced on the spear militia. And something that is unique for Imperial Spearman, they have cover commander, which give them. Uh, Increase the defense, and you can. I'm gonna show you later how to use it and, and the difference uh, from it. Also, you have a uh, regeneration on uh, Imperial Spearman, Black uh, Spearman, and you can use Doctrine to get it on Iron Cap and uh, Spear Militia. A Doctrine that I have uh, put on uh, is Stand Fast. I have it on most of the shield units, it's very useful and you're gonna see why later on. So let's talk about uh, units and uh, the counter, what they're good against and each unit's uh, uh, formation and uh, abilities. So here we have Spear Militia against Iron Caps, normal charge into them. Then we're going to use Stand Fast. Then we're going to go for uh, bear, uh, Pike Militia, charging in. Then they are going up and Brace, and you're going to see this uh, getting, taking damage from it. And now they're gonna charge in to when they have stand fast. And I'm gonna show you how Cav uh, counter shield walls easy. And here we have Arquebusiers, and uh, they counter the range uh, easy. Then we change to uh, Prefecture Archers. Still doesn't take any damage from it. 
then we're going over to Rotten Marksman, which is a pain in the ass normally. And even the Spear Militia doesn't take any damage, they block the top. Then we have Perfecture Guards against Iron Caps. And uh, Perfecture Guards have this drill, so the point is here they're tanking this pretty hard so your reinforcements can come and help you out your friends then we have to counter uh, halberdiers you just can tank it up and you can use your hero uh, which i don't do here but your ally can go in and uh, wipe them out and you see i die instantly from just going into them and uh, here you have a blue cab charging in and you see how they get huge damage from it they can't counter it then we have jab cab and you can see they don't take so much damage from the uh, explosion they break a little bit of formation and go back. They ignore fire damage in that way. You're gonna see when we use uh, Cocos as well. Here comes the Cocos, the throwing, and they don't take so much damage from it. And then we have a sergeant which is gonna counter the shields, they, they're getting smashed. They break the formation and stuff. Of course it's a difference with the impact with heroes also, you can make the job fast. Here's man at arms against the imp uh, shields, imperial spearman. And this is without any stand fast or heal or uh, using cover commander. Again, with stand fast, and you see them blocking them, even push them back. That would stop them from if you have a Portobrachio uh, or Halbadiers behind the shields or in range you are supposed to protect. Here uh, the, the mall have a cover commander and so do I have with uh, the man at arms and they take so long to the tank it takes forever to even get one of them. And this is the best uh, use of uh, shield units so they can tank and uh, buy your time. Don't count on uh, having great uh, kill score with them. You tank damage. That's your job. You're supporting your team by be the one that's standing in front, have big shield wall in big areas, protect the front, and move for a fight forward. And uh, not using uh, shelter information uh, any, any time. Use uh, turtle formation in narrow areas like towers uh, and uh, gates and narrow passway. When you're in enemy uh, in defense, you need to be careful for trap and stuff like that. And also, uh, that's come bring uh, break formation is cannons, artillery in general. And this kind of takes forever to do. Uh, here you will be going into Halbaria Sergeant and I'm using Advance and you can see I, and I changed to Cover Commander and I can easily uh, fight them and win this fight. Imagine if I had a friend with units and this uh, they will be undamaged. From this 
and make the business fast. Then we have palace guards and you're gonna see they are kind of a counter but they stop the charge from them but as uh, palace guards have this uh, uh, race and uh, uh, ability so they can do fast business of uh, shields but stand fast they do it do they, that thing also to, to counter it. Even if I use a cover commander here, I have problem. But I prolong the fight enough. Here you see blue, uh, purple cab charging. Dagger Axis, not the best charge uh, in that way, they are better on the other charge. Takes decent damage and on the way back they get defeated. We're gonna show Winged Hussars, how they uh, destroy them. And wiped. I have 12 left there and they took damage also. Cocos, not much happened. Here we have flames, the scenarios. They take huge damage here, but we're gonna soon show you how big difference this is between shields and normal units. That took time. Here you have halberdiers, and you're gonna see how fast they did get deleted. Falcos is a pure counter for all formations and they you see they can't hold the formation at all it doesn't matter if you have stand firm or not uh, they will shoot long enough time to like delete you and then we have uh, Senjis you see here the range doesn't do any damage on them but then they change to the to the bombs And imagine if they kept shooting, they would do damage then. Because they break the formation and they can't block anymore. Then you have impikes. And to counter impikes, you really need to have the stand fast. Time it correctly. In this case, you would have go in also. In, in, in Cover commander to fight them off. Here's with uh, standfast, nothing happens, and you can protect the, the range or whatever you have behind. Mimillions go straight for, uh, through, and they will take care of the the, the units behind your uh, your shields and delete them. Siladars making a fast business of them. doesn't matter if you have uh, stand fast or not they delete them iron reapers with stand fast they got blocked but uh, just they just buying time without stand fast they break up and then they can switch over to she is sword and then delete the, the whole units Orochi Samurai, well, they got blocked, not even uh, using stand fast here, and uh, they uh, can't pass through. Javs, you lose a few units, but uh, they focus on the same. Swayhanders, they making a fast business of them, even with stand fast. Phalanx going straight through and they brace and can do damage. 
you need to really use your hero against to counter them. Uh, of course, uh, cover commander would do a difference in this fight also. But they get deleted. Queen's Knights, you can block the first uh, part with stand fast and they can't get to you. But then they, when it's run out, they're gonna delete you. And that's it for those. So, rule number one when it comes uh, to the shield units is always die behind your units. And uh, X move them in front of you, then use cover commander, look for flank, or uh, if cav comes and know what's counter and what you counter. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of uh, when I have played shields uh, and so on. So here we move up with shields, tank a little bit, they have iron reapers. I dodged uh, the treb and I'm putting up a sh uh, shield wall, they ink walking uh, and I do steady fast there. Then I see they coming from behind, I switch to, co to counter them from behind. I micromanage them a lot. You need to know where the front is and uh, protect your friends. Here uh, they're coming a, a bunch of Iron Reapers. I pull up and you see they are stuck there and I stop the heroes from doing the uh, crowd control and my friends can delete the Iron Reapers. Here uh, I'm micromanaging on a supply. There's a lot of uh, people trying to recap the supply and uh, I watch out and protect uh, these phalanx and we win this fight. Coming with the Wu Wei's and I switch to, to, to that side, attack the phalanx again, counter the heroes and we win the fight there. Here we are on the same match and on end cap and I'm moving past the, the, the main camp so we can cap and I can stop the enemy team from uh, reaching the point. I see the coming small units and I block them. Next max here, we pushed over, I block, and I have a line formation, and every uh, hero that jumps over, we can easily kill them, and they can't get the range at shooting them. They're trying to get the units uh, in front, and we win there. And that is is for this video, uh, I hope you liked it and uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like and comment and uh, if there is any more question about this unit you can comment below and uh, hope you see you next time and hope you learn something about these units and what they do and what they are for. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!